Why is Cartoon Amy back? Okay, look, listen. I'm lazy, so I figure, since I've already seen these two movies, I'm just gonna combine it together, and yes, that means I'm combining the Keanu Archives together. What does this mean for tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow is the Kurt Cobain video, and then it's going to be Bay Boy, that Kiefer Sutherland movie that no one knows about, it's from like 1984. But yeah, in this video, I'll be discussing I Can, I Will, I Did and 1996. I Can, I Will, I Did is a Mike Feist movie, and 1996 is a Robert Downey Jr. and a Kiefer Sutherland movie, so let's get it. Back when I was a Jared Van Hansen fan, kinda embarrassed about that, I loved all of the original actors and I wanted to know if they were all, you know, in movies besides, you know, being in musicals. And that's when I discovered Mike Feist was in this movie called I Can, I Will, I Did. Back then, I thought the movie was really good and it gave Mike, like, you know, a different way. I mean, he still had a really bad home life. I feel like every time I see Mike Feist in a movie, he has really shitty parents. But now that I'm more into movies, I kind of realize that this movie is kind of like Karate Kid, but like, not really. Also, you can tell that Mike Feist was still doing Jevin Hansen because his nails are painted and his hair is long. Uh, I guess there's a, a rule when you're an actor in a musical and your contract isn't up yet, you have to still have that certain hair length or have a certain thing on, so I'm just gonna assume he was still, you know, doing Jevin Hansen while being in this movie, because this movie's from 2017, and I think he left in like 2018 or st like somewhere in 2017. I, I don't really remember. <laughs> 1969 is the first time you'll ever see Robert Downey Jr. and Keith Sullivan in a movie. I'm just telling you. And also Winona Ryder. Forgot to mention Winona Ryder, but uh, hey, I didn't watch this movie for her. I watched this movie for Robert Downey Jr. and um, Keith Sullivan. That is a tongue twister, bro. That is such a tongue twister. Robert Downey Jr. Bro, every time I say that, I feel like I'm gonna get tongue twisted. Anyways, whatever. This movie's about um, the hippie movement in 1969 and how some people, no, not some people, some teenagers who are 18 decided to become hippies and to, you know, not join the war. I only really watched her for Robert Day Jr. Oh my god, I swear to god, if I keep saying that, I'm gonna get tongue twisted. And Kiefer Sutherland. I didn't even realize when Nona Ryder was in the movie. But, like, you can only watch this movie on YouTube, so um, I'm really sorry about that. As for I Can't I Well I Did, you can watch it on Tubi. And maybe YouTube? If you try really hard, I mean, maybe. Hey, you reached the end of the video. Um, I linked in the description my last two videos, which is um, the movie review of Drugstore Cowboy and the Keanu Archive. I also linked the music I was using in this video, and I'll see you all next time. <laughs>